Do you have a rooftop tent? Are you looking to add some dry heat for those cold nights? In this video, I'll show you how I installed this beautiful gold Amazon special diesel heater into a Pelican IM2975 case. I'm Chris with 4x4 Carpool. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to start with is a mounting system to hold the heater. The mounts need to suspend the heater high enough to where the exhaust, intake, and fuel line has enough space to be connected to the bottom of the heater. For this, I'm going to be using steel L brackets and the mounting plate that was supplied with the heater kit. Links for everything being used in this video will be in the description. With the mounting system put together, I can go ahead and test fit the heater and bolt it to the mount. Next, I need to get an idea as to where the heater and the heater mounting system is going to be secured to the Pelican case. Since the entire case will be mounted on my front runner roof rack, I need to make sure that there aren't any holes or bolts on the bottom of the case that are directly on top of a slat. Having a bolt head sandwiched between the case and a slat will not allow the case to sit flat on the roof rack. So I've taken some measurements and I'm now drawing where the slats will be. That way I know exactly where to drill and to place any bolts for securing the mounting system. Next I'm measuring the length of the case's bottom so I can cut some angled steel to length. This will be the base of the mounting system and will give the case even more strength to hold the heater. Looks pretty good. Now I can mark and drill the base of the mounting system and into the bottom of the Pelican case. Next, I wanna look for the best position for the air filter. Cutting and drilling into the case is a one-time deal. I don't wanna mess this up. Measure multiple times and look at it from multiple angles is the key here. I find using a purple Sharpie is perfect for marking on the black Pelican cases. When up close, you can see the markings, but from a distance, it's very hard to see. Perfect if you happen to make a mistake. Purple also happens to be my favorite color. Before I start cutting, I cover up the surrounding areas to preserve the look of the case from splattering hot plastic. And remember, you can always cut a little bit more off, but you cannot add more plastic back onto the case. Take your time here. After some trimming, this Honda Fit air filter is ready to go. The air filter is held in place by a steel return air grill and some hardware. Nice work. Now with the hardware fed up through the bottom of the case, I can now fasten the mounting system and the heater into place. Next is to drill a hole using a 46 millimeter hole saw to fit the 24 millimeter exhaust fitting. Take your time here and make sure you put the hole exactly where you want it to be. I decided to wrap the exhaust pipe with exhaust heat wrap. This is a lot harder than it might look. Before I wrap the pipe, I bent the pipe in a way that it does not contact anything in the case except for where the pipe connects to the heater and where it connects to the exhaust fitting. Once the wrap is on, secure the pipe with hose clamps. Time for one last hole. This is a 3 inch hole where the heated air will come out of the case. Using two 3 inch flanges and some RTV, I will create a pass through for the heated air to travel from inside the case to the outside. These flanges are actually air inlet MAF 
adapters for an RX-7 and they work perfectly. The 10 liter fuel tank that comes with the heater kit is too tall for the case. So I ordered a shorter seven liter tank. Just two bolts to hold the tank in place. Very easy. Then install the combustion intake pipe. Since the air coming into the case is already filtered, there's no need to add another one. The fuel tank stand pipe that came with the new fuel tank has a built-in fuel filter. So I'll be skipping an inline fuel filter. Now I can run the fuel line into the fuel pump, then from the pump into the heater. The fuel pump needs to be mounted at about a 30 degree angle for it to work properly. Since the case and the heater are going to be a permanent installation on the roof rack, I'm going to run the 12 volt power wires directly through the roof of the excursion. To make sure that there isn't any water ingress, I'm going to run the wires directly through a wire entry gland. This is another situation where taking my time and measuring multiple times will pay off with no mistakes. Once the entry gland is in place, I can run the wire to my existing six gang switch system. Be sure to check out my install video on this system. This inexpensive switch system has been installed for about nine months and has been a great addition to the build. It's finally time to get the case and heater on the roof. Like that? Yeah, that's good. Turn around after things left. Very nice. Awesome, thanks, cool, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. To feed wires in and out of the case, I'm using some smaller glands. The 12 volt power wires and the wires for the controller will be fed through these glands. To feed the controller wires through the glands, I need to first take the controller connector apart. Before I take it apart, I'm taking a picture so I know exactly where the wires need to go when I reassemble the connector. A small flathead or slotted screwdriver is perfect for taking the controller connector apart. Now I'm cutting off excess wire, completing final connections, and overall making the wiring look clean and tidy. Time to fire this baby up. The air duct hose that came with the heater was pretty short, so I ordered some longer hose on Amazon. Remember, links are in the description for everything used in this install. Now before we turn it on, here's a final look at the case and heater installed on the roof rack. Pull that out and let's turn it on. Let's take a look. Let's put it down right here. I know how to turn it on. I can't. You do? It's this one. Oh. Let's turn it around real quick. Which one? This one. Uh, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, it's all warm. <laughs> is it warm? Yes, it nice. is pretty hot. Okay, now it's really burning my hand. <laughs> it's too hot? Yes, it's like so hot this time. Careful, don't put your hand in there. I'm just gonna see if it's witty. I don't want it 
should be really hot. This one should be a little hot. 